It's time. Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to cook a traditional pasta carbonara, Italian. So I hope you enjoy watching with me and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my video. Enjoy! So I'm going to start with the parsley. I just do it like this. This is already washed. We need some for the garnishing. This may be enough. We save the rest for later and then we can start chopping the parsley for a garnish later. already have water in here so half of more than half of a casserole we just need to set it and then we wait we need to prepare our pancetta and for this recipe i need 200 grams of this beautiful pancetta for our pasta carbonara the very traditional italian recipe and this is inspired by Giuliano Hazan. He is an author and uh, a wine expert. He has uh, many more Italian cookbooks. And we slice it like this. Thin slices are pancetta. So uh, we are going to fry it later. And about Giuliano. He is just good in simplicity and pleasure of food cooking. Hassan's cookbook were inspired by his grandmother, where she cooked in simplicity. Here is our beloved Parmesan cheese. We need to grate it and uh, we do it a bit nice and slow and we just take it easy so that it will melt in the warmness of our pasta later the cheesiness the creaminess of this one and the egg yolk is just divine this is it we need to start separating our eggs the egg yolk from the egg white and this is how i learned to do it from high school I think it was fun I was not so good then I don't know if I'm good now but it will do I try to find something fun in cooking and this eggs is just I think fun to do I am actually amazed yolks are looking nice so this is what we're going to use and I just need to clean up a bit because it's not good that the egg whites are lying all over our table. Now I think we can start frying. I have our pancetta and the butter. So I just need to fill it if it's uh, warm or frying pan. We can wait a little bit. So yes, we're going to use the extra virgin olive oil very traditional Italian now it's warm so we can put the butter and some olive oil it should be not so much so that it will not be very fat and oily so I think that's enough So when it's warm and ready, 
we need to put the pancetta slowly and with gentle loving care because pancetta is really the best meat you can have in the pasta carbonara traditional look it's golden brown wow our water is boiling now i already put two teaspoons of salt in there and now we're going to put our pasta this pasta is a gluten-free pasta because it's very friendly and the tummy and before we put it in the boiling water we need to twist it so that it will be evenly going in there like that nice I'm opening our white wine this is for cooking not the white wine for drinking this is because uh, my kids will be eating this pasta too so no alcohol in it there it goes looking very fabulous so we let it simmer for some minutes and the heat should be in a low heat I hope you're enjoying our cooking so far and I am so uh, just keep with me I just need to taste our pasta if it is al dente no not yet maybe I need to wait for one minute more I am just arranging stuff so that uh, I'm ready for the mixing soon while waiting for our pasta so this is what we do trying to make everything go smoothly in our big bowl and yolks goes there and then we just need to beat it a bit like that and then we put our parmesan cheese i'm not going to put it all so that we can garnish it later if um, we need more cheese in our plate so um, that is like a bit of preparation We need to bear in mind that the pasta should be warm and then it is already drained the water is not in there and then we mix it with the, the mixed parmesan and the egg yolks so that the parmesan cheese will melt in it and that's what makes it very creamy and very italian very traditional without the cream in it so you should taste the pasta the al dente of the pasta and the egg yolk and the parmesan cheese every ingredients in it and then now we are putting our pancetta it already looks yum and smells oh it smells really good wow look at that it's already creamy look and then we have our parsley so think of tasting this one and every ingredients of it you can just taste every detail of it and here comes our black pepper oh it's smelling mmm it's already very yummy Let's have a taste. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's cheesy, creamy. I can feel the egg yolk. 
can taste it. And the parmesan. Mmm. Wow. Bravissimo. This pasta carbonara recipe is from the book of Giliano Hassan, a cookbook author and a wine expert, Italian. So I hope you like our video today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for being with me. Bye!